they made their decision. We all know the reason why, okay? We all understand that it came down to the theory of resume versus, in quotes, best four. Um, and they went with, in quotes, best four. The, the, the questions really surround of whether or not that's what they, they should do. Um, because it's, it's, it goes back to philosophy, the philosophy being opinion one out, one out over what I think is fact. And, you know, we, we all made our, our state, we stated our case last week. And unfortunately, for the purposes of talk radio, we all agreed. If what was going to happen happened, that we all would have went with Florida State. We all would have decided on Florida State. We were on the record as saying that going into the weekend and gave our reasons why. There were there were two big issues, and they were, does, does the SEC have a Texas problem and does the committee have a Florida State quarterback problem? And it was various scenarios that we talked through, and, and the scenario that played itself out, and by the way, it was scenario 17 in the Greggy Matrix, and, it, and, and the Greggy Matrix held because Greggy had gone through and done all 32 possible combinations of wins and losses in the five major conference championship games and what it would look like, scenario 17. <laughs> and it held. But, I, I mean, I, I, I'm just, I philosophically disagree with what they decided to do. I do 100%. I, I am pissed about this. I was at a, a watch party and a you know, holiday party on Saturday night at my friend's house, and, you know, Everybody, all we, were, all anybody was talking about was who's going to be the, you know, what are the three and four teams? And I said, well, Texas. And people, half the people were like, oh, Texas, really? I'm like, well, yeah, Texas is a conference champion, and they beat a conference champion. They're the only team to beat a conference champion, um, outside of their own. So it's that was that was big news. So yeah, they're in. They beat Alabama, um, but the fourth team, and that that's where everything came in. Was it going to be Florida State or is? Is it going to be Alabama? And the thing that really that bothers me the most about this whole thing is, outside of it just being flat out unfair, it's it feels to me like the committee doesn't even take into consideration that the reason the game looks so bad on Saturday night for Florida State's offense is that they had a game time decision on their on their quarterback who was going to play if it was going to be the backup who was in concussion protocol or if it was going to be was it Brock Glenn. If it was going to be the third string quarterback, game time decision. They decide to go with the third string guy and not the second string guy. Mm -hmm. If this the, the playoff game isn't played next week, nope. the playoff game is played a month from now. And it's like they didn't even take that into consideration that you know the backup quarterback who came in when Florida State got down, whatever it was, thirteen nothing or seventeen nothing, and and then came back and scored fifty eight unanswered points. Yeah. That was led by this guy in part, and look, the opposition in that game wasn't great with Southern Alabama or whoever it was. Um, I think it was North Alabama. North Alabama, yeah. whoever the hell. Okay. Yeah. Somewhere in Alabama. But the guy threw for over 200 yards, had a couple touchdowns, and then against Florida, your chief rival, at the Swamp, he was doing okay, right. and, and then gets knocked out of the game, and it's like, the, oh, oh, sorry, you're going to go to a third-string quarterback. Oh, you're out. They were looking for an excuse to make sure that the SEC was going to be covered, so they, and that sucks. And the thing about it is, yes, they weren't impressive. I'm going to put that in quotes in their rivalry game road victory over Florida. And you know who else wasn't in At quotes impressive in the rivalry road game victory? Oh, the team that needed the fourth and thirty-one. Yeah. So it's just b. It's complete BS. It really feels like it, and I feel so bad. I mean, I have no skin in this game at all. I just, I feel so bad for the Florida State kids. I feel bad for the coach. I feel bad for the fan base. I mean, I'm watching part of the Texas game because I'm thinking about this going in in my head earlier in the day on Saturday. Like, okay, this is, here's what's going to happen because it's going to be a third string quarterback. They're going to get screwed. So I'm watching a Texas game. And Xavier Woods, the receiver, the great receiver there, he gets hurt. And all I'm thinking about is, this kid better show up on the sidelines wearing his full his full uniform. Xavier Worthy. Is there, yeah, Xavier really Worthy. Sorry, I'm thinking of basketball. But Worthy comes back to the sidelines, and he's on crutches and, and no pads. I'm like, that's not a good look. Don't do it. Don't do that look. Right. Don't jeopardize your team because you got hurt. You know, the alignment from Michigan. Zitter, go, hey, 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 hey. 
hey, get up and walk it off. Don't, yeah, come yeah, on. His leg actually did get decapitated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Slap some uh, mud on it. Get out there on the sideline because you don't want to be said. You don't want to be said that your team can't go because you got somebody's hurt. Yeah, this is such BS, man. Um, so I know not everyone's going to agree with us three, but we all feel the same way. We feel like FSU got screwed. Are you guys surprised at how much you you're annoyed by this? Because I am a little bit like how upset I got when I heard the news and how bad I felt for FSU. Like this is this is crap. I I was. I, <laughs> And I'm not like it's a like, Florida State, you know, a super fan or anything. I was moderately upset until I heard Kirby Smart talk from Georgia. And when Kirby Smart starts talking about how his team should be in there, because you can't tell me that, you know, Georgia's not one of the top four football teams. Come on. You can't tell me that. I just wanted to, you know, run right up to him, give him the double bird, and, and get the hell out of here. Just shut up. You blew your chance. You had to win your game. You didn't win your game. You don't belong in there. This other team is undefeated. And now, George is going to take out the frustrations against Florida State in a bowl game. Uh, and Because, look, is Georgia one of the top four teams in the country? They might be. They might be. I don't know. It's funny. You got triggered by Kirby Smart. Kang, you got triggered by Herb Street. Yeah, mine was Herb Street. Yours yeah, is Kirby, was, mine oh, was yeah. Herb Street. He was so smug. He oh, was. my. The way he... Well, I, it's not personal, guys, but this is, I'm like, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I, I couldn't take it. That was. Did you have a moment, Doug? I, I, my moment was, and, and it's different, because I, I, I was very suspicious as what was going to happen. I was driving back from Indianapolis, listening to various satellite radio, and I got triggered by all the callers calling up and saying what has become one of the most annoying phrases in arguing sports points, and that is... Roll Tide? No. <laughs> You can't tell me, and then they give their opinion. I'm like, okay, well, then why are we even having this conversation? If you're not willing to listen to the other side, then okay, hey, thanks, but that doesn't really add anything. But and it, and it was all the same thing. You can't tell me that Florida State would beat Alabama, really? Because you know what? You couldn't tell people a week ago that Washington would beat Oregon, the, the, even though they already had. That's supposed to mean they already had, and they were a nine and a half point underdog. They did it again. And that's why they should be the number one seed, which is a whole different argument we can get into.